Good morning. This is uh, morning prayer for Friday, September 4th. I'm Jim Rankin. I'm Tiziana. Let's have a moment of silence to prepare our hearts um, before we begin. Thus says the one who is high and lifted up, who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place, and also with him who is of a contrite and lowly spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly, and to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults, Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant our most merciful Father for his sake that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. O come, let us adore him. O oh, be, be joyful in the Lord, Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he who hath, that has made us, and not, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. O oh, come, let us adore him. Psalm 8. O Lord, our governor, how excellent, how excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies. That you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, even the works of your fingers. The moon and the stars which you have ordained. What is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you visit him. You made him a little lower than the angels. To crown him with glory and honor. You made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. And you have put all things in sub subjection under his feet. All sheep and oxen. Even, even the beasts of the field. The birds of the air and the fish of the sea. And whatsoever walks through the path of the seas. O Lord, our governor. How excellent is your name in all the world. Second reading, Matthew chapter 6, 1 through 18. A reading from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew, beginning with the sixth chapter, the first verse. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, 
sound no trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray like this, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will father, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces, that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As Jesus instructs his disciples how to pray, a theme I see is that God the Father's provision is not performance-based. The hypocrites make sure they are seen by others when they pray, presumably to make sure they get credit for their efforts. The Gentiles heap up empty phrases and many words, presumably thinking their eloquence and verbosity impresses God and other people. In this world, we often feel like we need to perform to get what we need and what we want. But Jesus reminds us it's not like that with God. The Father hears us in our most private places and knows what we need before we ask him. We do not have to put on a show or performance to receive his provision. Many times, many seasons, and many events in my life, praying the Our Father has helped me shift my thinking, change my actions, and re redirect my motives towards God instead of concerning myself with earthly matters. This beautiful prayer I also pray over my family and for those who, who God brings to mind. I thank our Lord for this provision in prayer, something I use a lot in my walk with him. Thank you, Jesus, for this example in prayer. So the Apostles Creed together. I believe, I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his Holy Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, you called your servant Berenus to preach the gospel to the people of Wessex. Raise up in this and every land evangelists and heralds of your kingdom, that your church may proclaim the unsearchable riches of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Call it to endurance, Almighty God whose most dear son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O oh, most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee to you for comfort. Deliver us, we beseech you, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure, and grant that, perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom, which leads to eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve, we ask you to bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, especially those who are laboring in this time of plague, and do them with wisdom, patience, and courage, that they may, that they may strengthen the weak and raise up those who fall, and being inspired by, by your love, may worthily minister to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy for the sake of him who laid down his life for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll have um, a moment of silence for, to, for each of us to pray our own personal intercessions and, and thanksgivings. So thanksgiving together. Almighty, Almighty God, God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all our goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may share forth your praise and not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. 
Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you.